In Singapore, freehold and 999-year leaseholds are becoming increasingly rare, and they're becoming known as a generational asset. Today, we have an entrepreneur who's looking for that legacy investment for her kids. Hi, I'm Hui Cheng. Hi, I'm Han Bin. Both of us are entrepreneurs and we currently live in Sembawang. So we've got two sons and both of them are entering the university next month. And we're looking for an investment home for them to live in after their university days and perhaps reserve a room for us so that we can visit them on weekends and then we can cook and uh, spend some family bonding time together. For the last 20 over years, our family business is real estate. So being a very traditional family ourselves, the form of investments for us would be still back to the old traditional real estate. Well, uh, in terms of investment property, we might looking at somewhere uh, near a city because in future, when four years down the road, the kids complete the university, they might find their first job in the city. Or preferably close to where we are currently so that we can visit them. And a place that's a bit lush with greenery, um, not too far away. Other than that, I think the connectivity must be there. Easy for them to travel. I think minimum two bedrooms. If there is a patio, even better. That would be a bonus for us. Hui Tang, Ben. Hi guys, nice to finally meet you. Hi, Whoa. hi Mike, nice to meet you. So here we are, we're in Balmoral, you know that, and we're only five minutes from Orchard. It's so close to town. Yes, it We've is. got ACS primary and SCGS primary within a stone's throw. Wow, that sounds like a great investment. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, let's take a look at our first place. Come on in, guys. So here we have a 1,200 square foot freehold and it has a modern contemporary feel, mm. as you can see. And I know right when you walk in, you probably notice this wall right here, which has a beautiful wallpaper pattern of the jungle. Yeah, it's like walking into the nature. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like the wood and the industrial wall finish. It's a bit of a contrast, very clever. So this is fluted paneling, which makes the walls look a little bit taller. And then they've run the fluted paneling all the way across the ceiling yes. for just a cool vibe, something mm. different. And I do love that it's kind of a central air conditioning here, so you don't have units on the wall. It's actually built in with the air ducts. Right. But on the way to the kitchen, I want to show you this. If you open it up, you'll have to take a look around. Check this out. Your shoes. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? So organized. This is good because boys can come in and then store their shoes. Right. Not, not like have throw it all, them all over, the, over place. the place. Pleasant entrance. Very nice. So here we have a closed off kitchen, and I think you said you like to work in a closed off kitchen? And cook a lot of oil, so yeah. the yeah. closer is better. Fantastic. All right, so here we go. You just slide it open. So it's nice because it's got that glass here, so you can kind of, it gives it an open look rather than this closed off feel. Slightly it's smaller than my okay. ex uh -huh. expectation, but uh, yeah, manageable, yes. So we do have the gas burner stove and it looks like you can use your walk right yeah. there. Beautiful wood paneling, which is the yeah. theme throughout the house. Mm. And you have your service yard over here, bathroom as well, and you could just stack up a washer dryer yeah. here. A beautiful dining setup here, which can accommodate 10 people. I, I, I like the combination of the bench and the chairs with the wood. And it fits just nice as well with the backdrop, the wood totally blends in and there's this forest feel about it. Now all we need to hear is, in the jungle, the mighty <laughs> jungle, the... Yeah, we'll, come and, we'll come and visit the boys, for sure. Yeah. For sure. The living room, and we have this industrial look. I think it's really clever how they have this paneling, which is meant to look like heavy concrete slabs. It is. But it's not. So they saved a lot on money and I guess weight. <laughs> Bringing these in would, would be uh, quite laborious. I, I think it's not a small job. It looks very heavy to bring it up. 
totally worth it because it just you know completes the whole feel of the of the home with yeah, the right. wood. The lines making the feeling, the ceiling high feel higher. Beautiful cove lighting which is hitting the panels mm. Mm. and a nice comfortable relaxed open area to watch TV and relax or just have a chat with friends. Beautiful marble flooring which is a light color which opens it up a little bit more as well. I love the this panel. It's very low but giving a more space. Yeah, I'm glad you guys like it. Moving over here, we have a beautiful, huge balcony. Pretty good sized balcony. Do you feel the breeze? I think it's nice as well if you just put like a, you don't feel hot at a all. chair and you can do your reading or do your work here. And it's very peaceful and quiet. I think your kids are going to really enjoy this. Do they have green thumbs? They do, they do. <laughs> yes, we all That's always. amazing. Well, I love the plants. They are an extension to the greenery. It's beautiful. It's multi-billion dollar wheel. If you look <laughs> at it, yeah. all the city. Uh, and that's what you guys are looking for, that multi-million dollar. Yes, it's almost a hidden gem. Back in the house we go through another entrance here. Pretty cool. And this was originally a three bedroom condo. Now it's a two bedroom because they converted this into an office and these were all walls here. That's why you have that opened up feeling when you first walked into the house because this isn't walled off. And so now, even if you close this off, it still looks open because it's all glass. Yeah. Quite a lot of space, really. Perfect. Okay, so across the hallway, we have storage, we have a bathroom, but what I want to show you is the bedrooms. Here's the guest bedroom, and it is small, and they've sacrificed space here for other parts of the unit, but you go vertical and you've got two beds, maybe even three, because you got the pullout down there. You can put just one bed, and then the study could be outside, mm -hmm. because everything is now so, so flexible. That's you right. know, you just work on the laptop, Right. So bedrooms just for sleeping, really. Um, not the biggest room ever, but it works. Let's go see the master bedroom. The master bedroom, modern, contemporary. I think this master bedroom and the bathroom, as you will see, is kind of like a five-star hotel room to me. Yes. Really nice, really clean. We have the textured wallpaper again. And if you look up, I really love this feature, this mm. kind of floating ceiling with the cove lighting all the way around it that you don't see, it just protrudes out. Mm. Guys, this is where the magic happens. There you have it. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. So I like cool. it. Yes. Here we are. So, pretty decent sized bathroom for the master. Yeah. yeah I noticed they use marble. Mm -hmm. A lot of marble here. You got a beautiful marble on the wall with a darker uh, look to it. We have a shower enclosure that also has a bathtub. Oh, that's quite big size. It, it fits you? <laughs> yeah, so, what do you guys think? Well, I like the location and the fact that the surroundings full of greenery. Uh, that's really uh, something that's very close to our heart. Well, I think the size is just perfect as an investment product. And um, mm. the children are, they are young, so they don't have a big family. I think it's good enough to, to stay. Uh, in the future, when they grow bigger and bigger, I mean the family size, this could be a nice, perfect rented property. Oh, there's nothing much to fault about the decor. The fact that there's a lot of wood is already a plus point. I'm sure they'll love it if they see it. If we have uh, one more bedroom, even better. <laughs> yeah. Of course, uh, due to the space. Yeah, so that we can stay yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, this is what we want to. Here we are in Salitar. What do you guys think of this area? Well, I like it. It's not too far away from our house, and it's only about 10 minutes' drive. It's almost perfect. Perfect. Yeah, we're close to the nature. Yeah. What do you say we see the place? Let's do that. Join me. What we have here is 4,000 square feet, three stories, landed property. And as you can see, right when we approach the entrance, we've got a nice landscape garden here. Beautiful garden. I love it. Yeah. I love the color thing. Me too. Me too. So let's see the house. You guys are really going to enjoy this. Here we are. Oh, Absolutely wow. beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Love the chandelier in the ceiling. It, I mean, look beautiful. how high that ceiling is. 
So incredibly spacious. What we have here is Mediterranean slash Bali feel. Mm. And I don't know about you guys, but I get the resort vibe here. Very calm nice. And cool. So it's calm and cool and it's just massive. So come on in and let's just take a, a deep breath in and look at all the space that you and your kids mm. could have. They'll be very happy. Yeah, exactly. This is almost too much for a couple 20 year olds, right? <laughs> yeah. Good investment. It's 10 minutes from our home. Lovely, lovely place. Yep. What you're looking for is that investment. So that's what we got to keep in mind as we look at the place. Absolutely. You know, sometimes things can just be like so eye popping and amazing. And you go, well, does it make sense as an investment? And that's what we're here to find out. Okay, I also want to show you outside. And this is an absolutely gorgeous, relaxing place to just chill. They've extended the roof out here, so you're out fresco dining, but you're completely protected from the environment and the elements. With the furniture, you've got to get the outdoor furniture still, even though it's meant to be an extension of the living room. Outdoor furniture, make sure that's protected, otherwise it'll wear down really quickly. Well, I love it. I like it that the theme is blue. You would associate, you know, water exactly. with this kind of feel, Mediterranean, Balinese. That's right. I yeah. almost couldn't recognize you in the couch. You just blend right into it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Color coordinator today. Yeah. <laughs> I like the fabrics, the feeling, the touch. Every detail is good. Yeah. That's exactly That's right. Beautiful, spacious dining area. This is very near the kitchen as well. It's open concept. Very doable for us. Good. We've got a custom-made mirror. It's absolutely gorgeous, and they had to essentially build it into the wall because something this big probably would come down at some point. I really like the huge customized mirror. You have a mirror next to the dining table. It's double the food, double the prosperity. Well, that's fantastic. Well, I like the timber strips on the ceiling top. It adds layer to the whole environment. It just blends in very well. Here we are. So here we have beautiful cabinetry work, custom, and lots of counter space, which is gonna be huge for you while you're cooking, right? It's, it, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect for us, because we make a lot of Chinese dumplings at home. Oh, yeah. We call it jiaozi. So this is perfect countertop for that. So you can lay out your jiaozi. <laughs> <laughs> and invite you. Thank you, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> And I love that we have see-through cabinets up top and display shelving over here, which I love what they've done with it. And if you'll notice, we have the archway here in the kitchen, so that's a nice touch too. That's the Mediterranean vibe. I like the teal. It's a very soothing color with the gold handles. It's really unusual, but it's beautiful. Here's the wet kitchen. Love the beautiful tiles on the floor. Wow, so nice. The it really is. white color. And a lot of space here. Oh, I love the material. It's kind of like a grip material, so the pan's not going to go sliding around. Perfect for what you do. And then if you teach your kids how to cook, maybe. Do they know how to cook? Yes. Oh, they do? My Son elder, my very elder well. son's very good, very good chef. After the father. <laughs> that is really cool. And I'm both impressed. of them can cook here. <laughs> yeah, cook together and then they can have an intimate dinner together because you have your dining table in the house, which is for nice dinners. Sometimes it's just chill and just family time. And so the four of you can just hang out and uh, share an intimate dinner just in here, maybe. Beautiful work by the ID here. Just nice and clean, not doing too much with the walls. And here we are walking into the second level, but what we have first is just a nice seating area and it's open and it's a really comfortable space to just chill out. I like the, the fact that they broke that wall and made that three glass, the windows. Yeah, the glass yeah. panels and allowing light to come in. That's right, that's big because if they didn't do that, it might be a bit dark up here. This is very clever. It's a beautiful room. I love the green wall that kind of stands out amongst all the white. Yes, very calm color. It is. This right here was the end of the room and you had a balcony here. Oh. So hence the reason for the tile is that if you ran the wood all the way up to there, if you got some moisture in, it would actually start peeling up towards the wall. Yes. And now you have the bathroom in there, you've got uh, plenty more room to put this desk that they have here, which really helps out. And what's really cool is that this bathroom right here links to the next room. Oh. oh. Follow me. Oh, amazing. Wow. <laughs> well, the look at the woman's shape is really detailed. Very good. Yeah. Good finishing. Let's see the next room. Essentially a mirror image of the other room. Very decent sized bedroom. The third 
floor covered all this space here. So now it's all nice and wide open. You can see all the way to the bottom. You can see all the way up. And right here used to be wall. They knocked it out. They put window in so you get light going into the rooms. Oh, wow. So these rooms kind of mirror each other, but this one is a man cave. So I want to show you this one because I think it's more important. Lots and lots and lots of space. Gorgeous master bedroom. And the first thing you probably notice is the pitched roof here. Got that A-frame going. And this used to just be a flat ceiling, but they wanted to open it up and make it a pitched A-frame just for a little texture. And again, they knocked the wall out, put the window here, and you can, can check. I keep down? <laughs> yeah, check in on what the kids are doing. Yes. <laughs> the four poster bed, which is that Balinese style. Yes. Big windows <clears throat> to bring in lots of lights and wood paneling on the walls, and then more wood paneling over here, and behind that is a little surprise. Let me show you what's behind that. Ta-da! Here we have oh, a... Walk-in oh, wardrobe. Oh, walk-in wardrobe. So we got the villa vibe here, and if you look at the paneling, it's what's supposed to be rattan. It kind of looks like the rattan Balinese mm. wardrobe, but all of this is laminate, but it looks like it's real. Well, I guess it's very easy to clean, easy to maintain, and the wood finishing, it, it gives you this very resort feel. Yeah. Almost Balinese feel. So if you think that had a Balinese villa vibe, how about oh, this? Oh, beautiful. Wow. I love the tiles. It's awesome. Again, using different materials, different tiles, and with this, they went for a wood look with mm. the mirror just inlaid into the wood. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if you notice the floor, the pattern of the what looks like wood but is tile and they run all the way up onto that bench that they built into the wall there. So guys, what do you think? I think this place really resonates with us, you know, because it's not too far from home. It's easy for us to come check the kids, the space is beautiful. I like the way the ID has transformed this whole entire house. The colours, the vibes. It's so warm to come in here and to host friends as well. Well, this part of Singapore is um, not far from the city. They are surrounded with reservoir, with four golf courses around. It's easy for us to move around, yes. to enjoy life. My only concerns about this house is that there are steps going up to the front door and it would be quite challenging for the elderly to come in, especially if they are, you know, on a walking stick or with on a wheelchair. So that part, we may have to build some sort of a ramp to facilitate their movement. We've seen an apartment on Balmoral Road with an eclectic design and a house near Solitar with a luxurious resort vibe. Now that Hui Cheng and Bin have had some time to decide, let's hear from them. Well, they discussed already. I think the one at Salita is our favourite house. In terms of uh, closer to where we live, 10 minutes. Also, the, the space is pretty nice and the design particularly, beautiful design. We are not really fancy in the downtown property. Of course, it's, it's nice here, yeah, easy, convenient. But uh, in terms of value, I think hmm. better choices is the, the other one. So for the Salita house, I can envision this to be very much like what we have been living through all these years. My elder boy likes to cook, so just imagining him and Hanbin in the wet kitchen outdoor preparing and then we could even have a barbecue. It's just very suitable for family dinners. Well, you look at the Singapore, the landed property are uh, very limited. So uh, in terms of uh, size, in terms of uh, su surrounding environment, it's perfect. It takes all the boxes for investment. Well, no matter what the size of your house is, it's what you do with it that makes it a home. Thanks for watching Chic and Cozy, where you can live large, yet cozily.